So there was this woman that was extremely annoyed with these hipster tech dudes in San Francisco. She told her friend that she was looking for where the real men were. And in her mind, the real men were in the He-Man Valhalla of Alaska. These rugged country men that fight off bears and fight off wolves. So she figures, well, I'm not finding any of the men I want in San Francisco. So I'm going to move to Alaska. Now she told one of her closest friends that she, the city girl who wasn't into Alaska or the wilderness at all, was going to move up to Alaska because she was looking for her dream guy. Now her friend said, are you sure that's something you want to do? I mean, you're not exactly into the outdoors and you wear heels every day and you're clearly a city girl. And what she said to the other woman was, you know what, honestly, I feel like I don't have any draw to Alaska or any desire to be there, but I feel like statistically, I'm a lot more likely to find the kind of men that I'm into. Now this woman ends up buying this flight to Alaska and she moves to Alaska in search of this perfect dude. Six months later, the friend in San Francisco gets a call and she says, hey, you know, this sounds a little bit weird. I met this great guy in a random cafe, but guess where he's from? And she said, he's from San Francisco and he's here in Alaska just on a business trip. So this story is from Tosh Silver's book, Outrageous Openness. And I've seen this story play out in many, many different parts of my life and with many of the coaching clients that I've had before, where we think that because something can't happen here, that business, we can't meet that dream person, we can't lose the weight with the distractions and the people around us. We try to go somewhere else trying to manifest this into our life. And now this is really the last video in this 10-step personal development series that I've been filming here over the last month or two. And the reason I concluded with this is simple. Because the big idea and the big picture behind all of these things is that one of the craziest things I've seen play out in life is that sometimes when you believe that those crazy things can come true, they often will. And it doesn't mean all your dreams will come true, but when you believe that you can make amazing friends or meet that dream person, no matter how unlikely where you are now, you often end up finding someone like that or finding friends like that. Or you end up being that really successful business owner even though you're in a small town. It's just the belief that anything is possible anytime that already precludes you to the possibility of something really amazing happening. And in my own life, five or six years ago, I never thought any of these things would happen. I never planned to be a YouTuber, I never planned to write a book, never planned to have a business, never planned to travel all over the world, and now, six years later, here I am, having done all those things to a decently high degree, all because one day I said, what if those people I look up to and admire really aren't that special? And look where I am now. That's all I got for today. A simple story that I think can help you get in the right mind state that honestly, anything can happen anytime. And if you just have that little seed, you follow your goals, you follow your soul, what you feel like is your dharma or your purpose in your life, and you do the work, pretty amazing things can happen.